You had another uh, sporting background as well, didn't you? The bike. Well, well I had, yeah. And I did quite a bit of cycling. Like, no. I enjoy that. Do you do the Ross? Uh, I do done the Ross, well, once, twice, actually. Yeah. You know. Do you do it with Mickey Palmer? No. Was I was, Mickey Palmer was ahead of me, and Pat Grady, and Noel Brock, and Austin Morton, and lads, and Ray Kennedy. And then, in my time, it was Declan Morton, Porrick Highland, Sean Highland, um, yeah, there was the Scahills, you know, there was a lot of young lads at that time. But we had a Mayo team that time, there was uh, four of us. There was a lad from Ballina, Dermot McKay was his name. We had um, Porrick Highland, uh, Declan Morton and myself, that was the four. And that was 1970. The Mayo team? Mayo team, yeah. Did you have much success? We had quite a bit. We, well, in them times, we won a lot of the Connacht races, you know, and Pori Highland was a very good prospect at the time. He, Pori was a postman and he was transferred into Dublin, but he was a very good prospect and he won a couple of our errands and I won an Ireland medal myself in 1971. And what do you think of the bikes now compared to the bikes Lango? Oh, it's no comparison. Like, you know, equipment, as I say, we went off. One year in 1970 at the Ross Halfin, and James O'Connell gave us a case of Ambrosia Green Rice, and Teddy Welch gave us a case of Lucas Head. And we had no money for 10 days, and like the stages and all that time were way longer and way tougher, and no equipment. Mm. Like we'd be swapping the bikes, where Porrick Highland was our main man, and he was going well in it. And like, you know, if it hadn't happened to him yet, yeah, had no choice, we had no spare bike, you give him the bike. Yeah, it's a but again, there were rare times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried out one of the new bikes? No. Yeah, the super light no. bikes, no? No. I, you should. I, when I gave it up, I I gave it up. So oh, yeah. Okay, so, like, I had a bit of, well, unfortunately, uh, I was with a, a lad at Gunnar Town, 1971. A fellow called Norm McGuinn, and he, he got killed that evening, so I didn't bother much with the cycling after that. It upset you too much? It did. It mm. did, like, you know. It's sad, yeah. Say, yeah. 